Welcome to Infinite Expertise. A Russian awarded $1 million, 666,000 pounds, for solving one of the most intractable problems in mathematics. These problems are also known as the Millennium Prize problems. Now you are thinking, what are the Millennium Prize problems? The Millennium Prize problems are seven of the most well-known and important unsolved problems in mathematics. The Clay Mathematics Institute, a private non-profit foundation devoted to mathematical research, famously challenged the mathematical community in 2000 to solve these seven problems, and established a US $1 million reward for the solvers of each. One of the seven problems has been solved, and the other six are the subject of a great deal of current research. Here are the seven Millennium Prize problems. Poincaré Conjecture the only millennium problem that has been solved to date is the Poincaré conjecture, a problem posed in 1904 about the topology of objects called manifolds. The most basic problem in topology is to determine when two topological spaces are the same, that is, they can be identified with one another in a continuous way. The Poincaré conjecture is essentially the first conjecture ever made in topology. It asserts that a three-dimensional manifold is the same as the three-dimensional sphere precisely when a certain algebraic condition is satisfied. The conjecture was formulated by Poincaré, around the turn of the 20th century. P versus NP The problem of determining whether P equal to NP is the most important open problem in theoretical computer science. The question asks whether computational problems whose solutions can be verified quickly can also be solved quickly. The consensus of most experts in the field is that this is not true in general, that is P is not equal to NP but there is very little progress toward the proof. Hodge Conjecture The Hodge Conjecture is a statement about geometric shapes cut out by polynomial equations over the complex numbers. These are called complex algebraic varieties. An extremely useful tool in the study of these varieties was the construction of groups called cohomology groups, which contain information about the structure of the varieties. The Hodge conjecture states that every Hodge class on a projective complex manifold is algebraic. Riemann hypothesis The Riemann hypothesis is perhaps the most famous unsolved problem in mathematics. It concerns the non-trivial zeros of the Riemann zeta function. The generalized Riemann hypothesis is a statement about the zeros of certain functions known as L functions, defined by Dirichlet series, which are the generalizations of the Riemann zeta function. Yang-Mills existence and mass gap A Yang-Mills theory in quantum physics is a generalization of Maxwell's work on electromagnetic forces to the strong and weak nuclear forces. It is a key ingredient in the so-called standard model of particle physics. The standard model provides a framework for explaining electromagnetic and nuclear forces and classifying subatomic particles. It has so far proved to be consistent with experimental evidence, but questions remain about its internal consistency. Navier-Stokes existence and smoothness the Navier-Stokes equations are partial differential equations modeling the motion of liquids or gases. The fluid is acted on by forces including pressure, viscous stress, and a specified external force. The Navier-Stokes equations are the result of writing down Newton's second law for the fluid with respect to these forces, in terms of partial derivatives of the velocity of the fluid as a function of position and time. Birch-Swinnerton-Dyer Conjecture the birch swinnerton dyer conjecture concerns the rational points on elliptic curves. Elliptic curves are from a diophantine perspective, the most interesting curves by far. Associated to every plane curve is a non-negative integer, called the genus. Genus zero curves are well understood, and their points are easily parameterized. The first half of the birch swinnerton dyer conjecture is that, the rank of E equals its analytic rank. The second half of the conjecture is more technical, it involves the coefficient in the Taylor series. At present, the only Millennium Prize problem to have been solved is the Poincaré conjecture, which was solved by the Russian mathematician Grigory Perelman in 2003. So what do you think? Try once, who knows you might be the next millionaire. If you like this video, let us know about your suggestions in comment for more videos.
give our video a like and check out these other videos from Infinite Expertise and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching.